Good to see you back. Glad to see you're still at it. And at this point, we're starting to build a really good foundation for playing the saxophone. You've learned about tonguing. You've learned about getting a good sound, embouchure, all the things that make the saxophone sound good. Now in this lesson, I'd like to talk a little bit about something kind of a little more advanced and mature, but it's something you can start using right away and make your playing sound better. Dynamics. What are dynamics? Well, dynamics are louds and softs and everything in between. The full range. So dynamics. How do we create dynamics? How do we make these louds and softs? Well, on the saxophone, it's all about airstream. It's all about airflow and projecting your air the way you want it to come out. Now first and foremost, you should always be using your airstream projecting through the saxophone to get the biggest, beautiful, most beautiful sound that you possibly can. But if I want to play loud, I have to use more air. I have to project more air through the saxophone to get more volume. Just like if you're talking loud versus talking soft, you have to use more air to get that sound out. Same with soft. I have to use a little bit less air, but to still get a nice rich sound, I have to project and I have to support my air from deep down in my stomach through the saxophone and oftentimes I like to think of my sound, whether I'm loud or soft, as going all the way across the room. I'm going to demonstrate for you right now the full extreme louds and softs just on one note. I'm going to start soft and I'm going to go really loud. Let's use the note E, the note that you know. Starting soft, going loud and then back down to soft. So that just showed off the dynamics that I can get out of the saxophone from soft to loud. Now using dynamics are very important in music. It's how you get your expression. You, be, you can play expressively. You can blend with other musicians. You should never be playing too loud or too soft for the people that you're playing with. You should always be blending in, thinking about that, using your ears all the time to blend in with the band. Now I'm going to play a little song and I'm going to play it out of character. I'm going to play a nice lullaby for you and you're going to hear it super loud and you're going to hear how it doesn't really fit. So some songs are meant to be soft and some songs are meant to be loud. This one's meant to be soft but I'm going to play it loud and see how it sounds. <laughs> That doesn't sound too good when it's loud. It's not going to put anybody to sleep. It's going to wake people up. That's a wake-up call. But that's a lullaby. It should put people to sleep. Let me play it the right way now. Much better. Soft. Now let me do the opposite. I'm going to play a song that should be loud. I'm going to play it really soft. Check this out. Now that's a fanfare. That should be played some, when someone important walks into the room, like the king or whoever. But it doesn't work if it's too soft. No one's going to pay attention. So it has to be played like this, loud. <laughs> So now remember, 
Dynamics are a very important vehicle to use to get expression in your playing, to blend in with your band. Always listen to the band. Look at your music. Now, you're going to be learning when you read music about dynamic symbols, and those will be in the music. So pay attention to those and make sure you use your dynamics and you will sound like a great professional musician.